After watching this video, you will be able to create a ticket system with buttons using Sapphire and Ticket Tool. Ticket Tool bot alone can do this, but the free version don't have customization options. We will create the panel message with buttons using Sapphire and Sapphire will trigger Ticket Tool bot to create new tickets. On the video description, I have linked a written guide which will have more information on how exactly this system works, but for this video, I will keep the setup extremely short and simple. My ticket system will have three options for server members to use, so I will create a private category and create three private channels. These private channels will be used by Sapphire and Ticket Toolbot to communicate each other. Now I will create a public channel called Tickets. From this channel server members can open new tickets. Since I have three options for the tickets, I would like to categorize them to manage them easily, so I will create three new private categories. When a server member creates a ticket, the new ticket will be added to one of these categories. I will move the categories to the top on the channel list. This is just a personal preference. I already have Sapphire in the server, so I will now add Ticket Toolbot to the server. I have given the Ticket Tool website link in this video description. Now I have both Sapphire and Ticket Toolbot on the server, I will give them admin role because sometimes we may run into permission issues so given admin makes things fit easy. If you know to set up permissions properly then you don't have to give admin permissions to the bots. Let's go to Sapphire dashboard and click this refresh icon. This will fetch all the changes we made to our Discord server. We have to create three message templates, a main message, ticket code message, and ticket success message. The main message will have the buttons to create new tickets. You can customize this message however you want, but for this video, I will keep everything simple as possible. I will add three buttons since I want to have three different ticket categories and you can add any number of buttons based on your needs. You can change the button colors. I personally use gray color. I will add a nice emoji for the button. You don't have to add this, but it looks nice with emoji. Now we have to add an action to the button. Give the action a name. You can give any name you want, so it's completely up to you. An action is basically telling Sapphire what to do when someone clicks the button, so each button should have their unique action.
Now we have to create the ticket success message. When someone clicks the button to open a ticket, we have to show a confirmation message like, hey, the ticket has been created. You can skip this step if you don't want to show a confirmation message after someone clicked the buttons. Now we have to create the ticket code message. This message tells Ticket Toolbot to open a new ticket. I will type dollar sign, new then type dollar sign and inside of curly braces type user ID. The message template setup is finished now. Next, we have to set up the button actions. First, I will add the action send message and choose the ticket success message template, then make sure this ephemeral option is enabled. Next, I will add the action send channel message and I will choose the ticket codes channel. Then I will select the ticket code message template. Repeat this process to other buttons you have and make sure to select proper channels to send the message template. Now I will send the main message template to the tickets channel to test if everything we did so far works correctly. If I click any of these buttons, then Sapphire should send a message on the codes channel. Next step is setting up Ticket Toolbot. For that, we need to get the user ID of Sapphire. To do this, simply tag Sapphire on a channel and add a backslash in front of the tag and send the message. This will show the user ID of Sapphire. Copy the ID, which is the number, and delete the message from the channel. On Ticket Tool Dashboard, go to Server Configs and paste the Sapphire ID here. If you are using a custom branded Sapphire bot, then you have to enter the ID of your custom bot instead of Sapphire's ID. Make sure this command prefix is set to the dollar sign. Now I will create three new panels on Ticket Tool. I create three because I have three categories of tickets. On general module, you can add support team roles and do some basic configurations. I want to add the report member tickets to a category, so I will add the category here. Here you can customize the message ticket tool sends inside the new tickets. You can't customize a lot here, but if you like to change the basic default text, then you can do it here. Enable this command style ticket creation option and choose the code channel as the monitor channel. You have to select the correct channel here. I selected report member code channel because this panel is for report member category. 
I won't go into these transcript and logging options on this video, but you can explore it on your own. Now clone this panel and change the codes channel and category for open tickets. I will clone this panel two times so that I will have total of three panels. Ticket Tool has a form feature which basically shows a form with questions when someone opens a ticket so they have to answer the questions in order to create tickets. This feature won't work if you are using Ticket Tool with Sapphire. I get this question a lot so just pointing it on this video. Now if I click these button, new tickets will be created. See it created the new ticket on the correct category. Let's test the other categories. All right, that's it for this video. If you need any help with this setup, then feel free to join our Discord server and open a post on support channel.